Good morning everyone, my name is Christian, this is Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and we're playing with the Empire of Valakia in the 1212 ID mod. Hopefully you have your coffees ready, it's a brand new day, it's a brand new week. And so we're gonna get started with some action. Hopefully we'll get a bit more challenge here from Georgia, but who knows? Who knows if they will have enough recruited troops to pose a challenge for us. At this point we're attacking this region where apparently we found the King of Trebizond. And a bit of an army but nothing too special, we will need siege weapons on this side, so let's do so. Looks good. We're gonna take some attrition because the winters over here seem to be pretty tough. With this guy we are just gonna sit still and recruit, we are stabilizing the region a tiny bit as well. And then we have Marine the Brave recruiting himself an army. As soon as we can start get... I guess we can already deploy this priest, right? I did ask him to move, so if we're gonna deploy him, he's gonna move during the next turn. So I'm gonna keep this army still for one more turn. Over here we are building like the siege weapons. And in Aleppo. In Aleppo we're constructing a few buildings that will hopefully provide us with the necessary public order to stabilize the region. There's plenty of religions in this area. Like look at that. That is a mess there. Could use some governors. What else are we going to do? Well, let's take a look at some of the buildings. Here we're making, we've made a tavern. We can go one more level, let's see. On food, we're gonna ha have a bit of starvation, but that is okay. Let's see, wheat fields have been constructed, large workshop. Thus we will be able to retreat this army and upgrade their weapons and armors. In Lesser Poland, we got ourselves a city gatehouse. Schools, fields, I guess what we could use after the fountain. Is to take a look at where our war's public order is. This is our next one. We're almost done with the church. We have plenty of food, so I could go with the next level of university. Here we're gonna, not gonna tax for now. We're gonna repair the city in this area. Lepo, we were already working on it. On this area, we're not really doing it. Having these buildings here, we have a fur trader. With a fur trader providing us 45 food, no, we get industry. 45 food for from animal husbandry, but we get 150 from industry. Like this city is pretty well put together. It's just that we need to stabilize it. We might have to recruit a, a, another army here. With Cis. I mean, going to the next level of the city doesn't really seem like a good plan. Here we have plenty of food, so we're gonna build these two. That's about it for now. Let's take our little assassin around. Okay, I guess Dublin only has one region. And if you haven't seen 
Oh, I, you haven't seen. There's a surprise. I guess in, in about two hours? I think two or three hours from the release of this episode. Let's see. What else shall we do? I guess I'll keep the spy over here. Maybe we'll disrupt the Selman just to make some... Some mess around. Let's see. Yeah, more on starting a fire and agent self-defense. I think going for agent self-defense could be good. Great game. Builder, trustworthy, hates Eastern Europeans. This guy fears and hates at the same time. I guess you do, you can become pretty uh, hateful out of fear, right? Okay, things look okay. How is our political situation? Are we stable now? Yeah, okay. So at this point we're doing okay on that side. You... Okay, so this guy needs a bit more zeal. Because apparently the men don't really respect him. Instead of integrity, can do I have anything for zeal? I do not. How long until you level up? Well, you quite a long ago. Reset skill points. Can I do that? No. Not that way. I think I might just replace him. I mean, at the end of the day, we can't have a rebellion on our hands, at least not like that. Yeah, we're gonna replace him with this guy. Not the best in the piece, but it will do. Uh, I'm gonna give him some influence and I will make him more authoritative. Okay. At least now we'll be stable for us. For the moment. We'll get one more point of integrity in four, five turns and that should be about it. Anything else I care for in these areas? Population growth, some commercial income, some public order, and state religion. Like, yeah, there are a bunch of things that I care for, but none of them right now. I'll put one more point in authority, actually two more points in authority. It should make the province great. Okay, we are getting 25 over here out of buildings and only 13 for the character. I think I can move him somewhere else. Chubar the Brave. Well, Chubar the Brave, how about I bring you to Aleppo? And you're not even here in these positions? Yeah, okay. Well... Let's bring him there. Oh. I guess we'll have to... Retreat him. Okay, I managed to do so. Let's see if I can take Chubar the Brave now. No, he's returning home. Good. Then let's end the turn. And I'm going to bring that guy in Aleppo because he's really good. Plus 13. That's a really good public order bonus. 
and Kaiseri is doing great. Venice is still moving around. Austria is coming to help. Because we did call them in the war, but that is okay. Let's see, peace treaty. No, we will not accept any kind of peace treaty. I at least want to take all this territory around the Black Sea. The force needs leadership. Okay. Well, as far as leadership goes... Let's bring this guy in. Yeah. This guy seems better than anyone else. Who died? Attrition, some consumption in Constantinople. Okay, we will need more food. So, death. Little boy is one, so Ready for orders. I am going to give this guy movement. Mm. Maybe instead of this, with the Orthodox Christianity, we will provide him with some missile attack rate. He is the king. bring the priest here we'll deploy over on this side we are we said we're gonna bring two bar hey okay. so mr chubar let's see instead of sanitation let's give you this orthodox christianity Give you some influence. And probably a well. Like how are we doing on this side? Sanitation is not great. But it's not bad either. It's a central region. It could be pretty important to go this way. We have a glass workshop so definitely we're going this way. And until we go up on the Orthodox Christianity, reducing the public order from religious influences seems like the right idea. With the king, we're going to go forward. Once again, they give them too good of a chance. We are not going to sit still. Are we taxing this province? We're not. Because we're losing a lot of public order here. Let's see. Three, five, six. And then some normal motion. Some normal infantry. And we're still recruiting, still replenishing. Okay, I'm gonna wait another turn there. Stone cutters. Yeah, we're not gonna upgrade anything further. We'll see where we build our churches. Olive press, fishing rocks, aqueducts. Here we do have a university. We have wheat farms, fields. What's our corruption like? We're at minus 36. Quite a few rich territories surrounding us. So I'm thinking that we could go with this, with a gibbet.
in this region a jewelry artisan just to fight against the religion is good we will add the pigsty and we were gonna go with a, the next level of stronghold in Zagreb An Orthodox Monastery destabilized the region. Okay. Let's see. Lazy, Bibulus. We gain an Executioner. And with this Assassin, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. Maybe we'll explore here to the north. We have the Kingdom of Sweden, who knows? Is it Denmark over here? Yes. Used our spy to set fire to this area. Critical failure, so he got wounded. How is it going here? Look, it's stable for now. Then what we need to do is go to war, let's attack these cities. This is another city that I don't think I ever seen before. Has a really nice layout. I'm guessing that here we have a few landing sites, like a port. I think we might want to do another campaign in in the Total War Attila, in the normal one, just to see if this war part of it. I have another plan. As soon as we close this campaign or put a break into it when it comes to getting our next level troops I have an idea for what we might be doing in the future and we're gonna alternate meaning that I believe we're going to come back to playing with Valachia and trying to get to the next level of research at some point but not at the moment we'll see we'll see how things go it really depends on your feedback as well so turning to the battle We could go around here, I could, this is a larger wall, so it's better to f scale up this way. We fought in this area, we had a map like this before. I, I remember because we broke a wall here. Okay. Let's have everybody. around like so okay and then we'll bring the archers these troops are not that chevron so we'll have to be careful archers let's spread them out um, I think I'll try to leave them here see if they can fire directly we'll have these horse archers and I'm gonna try to start shooting from up this hill at his at least at his knights let's take a look at them can you imagine the weight of that armor like you have you have a chain mail now under the chainmail you'll be wearing something else, like you can't have directly the chainmail on you, maybe uh, some some leather or some padded stuff, and then you have the chainmail and then you have uh, whatever this is on top. This, I, I'm guessing this would be cotton or something, right? Plus the helmet, the sword, the armor.
for the quality of, of food at the time, I am imagining that this was... The people were really in really good shape. Now I've been working... Uh, I started a new workout plan. Because I've been pretty stationary, so... Uh, physically, right now, I am not in the best of shapes. Like I used to be a lot more active before, especially before the lockdown. But nowadays, with work from home and everything else, I definitely feel a lot more sluggish in the morning, feel a lot more heavy. And I, I've been looking for different ideas to work out, but I did do some superhero challenges during the summer. That was a lot of fun. And, and then I left it off, got a small injury and stopped. I'm one of those people that does struggle uh, with keep getting myself uh, motivated and fit for a very long time. So now I, I am doing a... I'm part of the 7am workout group. It's something that... It's a program that's basically focused around doing your workouts in the morning, like early in the morning when you wake up, you do your warm-up and you have a slightly more... You get a bit more time to warm up and then you have a workout that is balanced that where you start slow and then you push harder and harder and harder when you are more warmed up. And the planning has been going well, so really, like to starting tomorrow, having, well, having a bit of, uh, doing a bit of cardio. Got one of those stationary bikes like a few months ago. And so I will, I'll be using that instead of going outside. Uh, okay, everything's going well, let's speed it up slightly. Um, let's get this. With you, let's take on this crossbowman. Okay, we're slowly breaking those walls. There's not a whole lot of troops left to bring inside the fortress. I'm not sure exactly why I'm breaking the gates anymore. Well, let's start shooting at this. At this point, I'm trying to get a bit more fit. On the plus size for on the plus side for me, uh, I don't really have a problem with my weight. Uh, I did gain a bit during this time, but uh, overall, I am okay. Like I wouldn't consider myself. Uh, On the on the overweight side or on the plus side to which makes exercising definitely a whole lot easier. Even like this, I'm I am in a state <laughs> in such a terrible state that at least the first few days of doing the workouts, like doing a push-up, like, felt really difficult. Um, meaning, I feel at this point. I'm starting to feel my... What do you call them? My wrists being weak. And I am... I've been doing some a lot of exercises. I think I talked in my previous video as well. I've been doing a lot of exercises uh, for the wrist. Because I'm just sitting still and 
working on a computer all day and I'm not really moving, not even the simple movements that we used to do before. Like I realized that, you know, before even something as simple as locking your door and opening your door and like uh, grabbing handles here and there, like getting on a bus or uh, saying hello to a friend, like even that is a minimum amount of exercise where I feel like nowadays that doesn't exist as much anymore, at least not as often, you need to have a, a good reason to do simple actions like that, which in a sense, I don't know, I, I, I am the type that, uh, at least in my head, I am be, being a bit uh, on the tougher side, like it's pretty, I feel like that's pretty pathetic, right? That uh, that, that is the level of uh, fitness that I am at, but yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I will be getting through this and, and I'll be getting into a good physical shape. My goal is to is to buff up a tiny bit. I guess the problems I've had with my weight in my life, and uh, it hasn't been that much of a problem, but uh, a personal problem with it was that I've been pretty skinny, like I wouldn't gain weight at all, and and that has its problems in its own way, especially when you try on some some suits. <laughs> I, I remember that like for the first what would would it be now like uh, twenty years ago? No, maybe less, like fifteen years ago, there weren't as many suits for uh, skinny, right? Now you have uh, the fit sizes and stuff like that. Everybody who had a fit suit generally uh, had some money because it costed a lot. Nowadays, you have suits for skinny people all over the place, so uh, it, it's a slightly different world. But when I look at pictures back in the day when I was a teenager to uh, in my early adulthood, and I take a look at those suits and how they look on me, I am like face palming and yeah, they're not flattering, they're not flattering. So that's by, been my challenge. But I managed to gain uh, some weight, at some point I wanted to uh, donate blood and I had to uh, gain some extra weight and I managed to do so in about a year's time, I think. Something along those lines. I took it nice and slow and in the end I did manage to uh, get onto a, a good weight. Let's jump in this battle as well. And all my blood for the first time in my life. And yeah, that was a good feeling overall. And I kept thinking at some point that what I want to do now is that I want to buff up and I want to uh, get a pretty good, uh, a strong body, have a lot of uh, physical strength and fitness, uh, do body weight workouts. I find those more enjoyable than anything else. I did some weight training in the gym and that is fun too when you have a partner but if I'm working alone, working out alone, I get bored a lot of the time so uh, when I do body weight workouts that is um, always like a fight with yourself to, to push further and further and lift your own weight and somehow I don't know, that gives me a pretty good feeling when I succeed in what I plan to do. 
Don't know if I'll ever get back in, in shape to uh, to the time when I used to do Muay Thai and things like that. Probably not. But you never know. I mean, I still have time. I'm still young. At least for another 10 years, I can still pick it up without worrying too much about problems, but... We'll see. For now, we take things one at a time, and hopefully we'll get to a point where we can get out of the house soon. Uh, without a real issue of, you know, getting sick, getting stuck in different quarantines, in different cities and stuff like that. Okay, let's try to break another wall. I'm going to try to bring the armies inside them. Not sure that doesn't really seem like they're coming out to confront us. has some knights here. Let's bring this cavalry with javelins. Do we still have ammo to better break this wall? Hopefully. The wall is pretty tough. No, I don't think we can. Yeah, look at those javelins go. Javelins are so good against armor. Perfect. So we're gonna bring some of these soldiers on this side. Let's go after them there. With you, I'm going to come over here. Let's go this way. And bring this guy this way. Okay. I guess we'll try to get this infantry in as well. Mm. Spears engaging us here. Okay, let's break this Antiochian cavalry. Nice. Okay, they're bringing more cavalry in. We need to break them and quickly. Let's go forward here. Get the cavalry out. Okay. Ooh. That will be a bad charge. And we're gonna try to throw in some javelins. Let's bring our king around as well. I'm gonna take one of these infantry units and we're gonna go after them there. Like after his archers. Let's charge them. Improve morale. Get a bit of strength here. Okay. Hey. 
Let's use our general to, to charge at the Antiochian Knights. So I am curious about you, if you want to talk about it. Have you started like any type of workout during this lockdown? Maybe you are doing one now. Maybe you are thinking about doing it now. I've been talking with some of the people at work and... I don't know, for, for some reason they're not really that concerned about it. Like about the their physical fitness right now, like uh, how they feel. Like I have a few of my colleagues. Some of the some of the girls are actually. Uh, I've been impressed. I guess curiously impressed right now that um, the girls at work have actually been looking more and more into into doing these kinds of uh, workout and getting fit, like they've created like small groups and they're doing meal planning and they were doing all type of stuff and it's actually the man who've been ignoring it most With the towers broken, it seems like we can cannot get after them? No. Look, we can't. Okay, we're done here. Finally. Nice. Okay. So, right now, if we take a look at the map. We're gonna take one army, we're gonna start marching them south. Like, it will be... This army will retreat back north for a turn. They will go to Malakia. We're going to repair these castles. Catholic Church. Yeah, I am going to convert you during the next turn. With one army, we are going to be taking out these. I guess we will strangle them using these three, like this line right here. We are going to push further into Georgia, strangling them. Opening us a door into the Carthage. Sultanate. So at this point I'm not sure I'm going to go further than this. I'll probably be recruiting a few troops and station them around here or we're going to leave some of these army be, be these armies behind and we are going to create new armies for Europe later on. Because I will need to find some of these factions. They have a lot of military allies. I'm not sure exactly how we will break them, but we will try. Anyway, that is going to be it for now. I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we delve deeper into the Valachian campaign. Until then, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.